So what are some kinds of questions that you might see on the AP exam that involve this sort of stuff? And I'm going to be hitting some slightly harder ones that you'll usually see towards the end of the test or in the essays. First off, here's a question. You have dialysis tubing and you fill it with 5% sodium chloride solution. When you put it in distilled water, you find that the sodium chlorine, sodium chloride is diffusing out at a rate of 20 milligrams per liter per second. What would you predict the rate would be if you repeated the experiment with 1% sodium chloride solution inside the tubing? Well, take a look here. What are we talking about? We've got 5% sodium and distilled water. Distilled water has zero. So what's the concentration gradient there? It's a 5% to 0% gradient. And that has a rate of 20 milligrams per liter per second. What's the ratio here? This is five times less, so you just take this number, divide by five, and you get an answer of four milligrams per liter per second. And as a little test taking tip, look at the number. You've seen the number 20 before. What are the common dividers? That eliminates things like three. So just use, you can answer these questions sometimes just by knowing your math well. Look to see how the teacher is trying to set things up so that the numbers are easy, because you're not allowed to use calculators on the AP exam. Next question. A student drops a potato core in a beaker of distilled water that was open to the air. He previously calculated that the solute component of the potato is equal to negative eight atmospheres. Describe what will happen and at what pressure will the water stop moving? All right, there's a couple little things that they're letting you know about here. First off, they say that it's a beaker of distilled water. Distilled water has zero stuff. If you go back to our water potential concept, you remember that the concentration of stuff was part of the solute component. And that was negative I times C times R times T. Well, let's see. What is C? In this case, it's zero. So it doesn't matter what all those other numbers are. The solute component of the water on the outside is zero. This open to the air. Why am I mentioning that? That's because pressure potential is considered zero if it's open to the air, because they try to make things really easy. So the outside water potential is equal to zero. And that's because it's open to the air, which is a psi p of zero, and psi s of the distilled water is zero. Inside the cell, however, it's different. We calculate it to be negative eight atmospheres. So it has a psi of negative eight. So who's got more potential to donate water? The outside. So we know that water will be moving into the cell. And so water will keep moving in until we reach equilibrium, the same amount of water on the inside and outside. But because the potato cells won't let their proteins and other things diffuse out, we can never get the same amount of water on the inside of the potato as on the outside. So what happens is that the pressure will build up until it equals the zero of the exterior. How can we do that? Well, it's simple enough. The cell will have a psi of negative eight solute component plus positive eight atmospheres of pressure. Negative eight plus eight is, uh, carry the 17, and it's zero. So there you go. Last question before we finish this all off is, describe how membrane protein channels and pumps make the cell membrane selectively permeable instead of simply semi-permeable. What's going on here is remember, membrane pumps spend energy in the form of ATP. So that means that the cell will have to spend energy to let stuff in or out. If it wants not to, then it just selects not to spend the energy and the stuff doesn't move. With facilitated diffusion, those protein channels have the doors. So you can open the door to select when things come in. You can close the door to select them not to come in. That's different from a semi-permeable membrane like dialysis tubing, which has holes in the walls of the tubing and whatever can fit through can fit through no matter what. And that's it. With this, you're good to go on the test.